Hi everybody, it's your girl Chanel with Girl Talk Tarot. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Alright you guys, this is a pick a card reading regarding the week ahead. This is timeless, so this will be applicable whenever you watch this video. We're going to take a look here and see what kind of energies you guys are working with in the week ahead. What you have to look forward to, potential opportunities, potential challenges, and what, what you need to focus on this week. So... We do have four groups. Group one is on the far left, followed by group two, group three, and group four. So I'll go ahead and be quiet, you guys, so that you can select your pile in peace here. All right, you guys, I hope that was enough time. If it wasn't, you know the drill. Go ahead and pause the video. Take as much time as you need. You can catch the timestamp down below, and I'll catch you on the other side. Be blessed. Cheers. Hi, group one. Welcome to your reading. So this is for everyone who chose the business trips image here. All right, let's take a look into your message. All right, you guys. The week ahead, what's going on? What kind of energies are you guys working with? Wow. Ooh, group one. You're going to be so happy you chose this pile. Wow. All right, you guys. So what I see here is that things are changing for you, group one. You are, in fact, going through a transformation in your life. Things are changing, transforming, taking a new shape. And I'm so excited for you guys because this feels like something that you've been wanting for a long time. It's like you're just feeling so good this week, group one. You're feeling happy. You're feeling abundant. You're feeling joyful. You're feeling a lot of positivity, a lot of good energy here. And your sacral chakra is doing well. So this has to do with your creativity and your sexuality, your sensuality. It feels like you are, um, I don't know, it just feels like you feel good in the week ahead, group one. Um, I feel like you guys are going to experience some blessings this week. Some things happening for you, some things that you didn't really have access to before. It feels like something is opening up here for you. Whatever blocks you were having in your past, it's like this week is a week of abundance, true happiness, true joy. Um, be sure you go outside a lot this week, you guys, you know, you're having a good time with your children. For those of you who have kids, I see you spending a lot of time with your children here, just having fun with your children. Um, some of you guys may have met someone recently who you're really vibing with and connecting to um, this person may in fact have children you may be wondering how that is going to work it's going to work out just fine just let it play out um, others of you you're being encouraged to let go of an ex for those of you who are still um you know i don't want to say focused on an ex but yeah i mean if you still have a lot of feelings for an ex here now is a good time to let that go. And for others of you, you've met someone here, but um, you're being asked to let go of whatever happened in your past. Don't bring what happened in your past into this current situation. So let's take a look at what opportunities may arise for you guys. And we'll also look for any challenges here. But so far, I see it's a really amazing week, group one. I'm sorry, it looks like the focus is a little bit off right now. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but we'll just keep it keep it pushing. 
All right, we're looking for opportunities here for group one. Opportunities for my group one. What are the opportunities in my group one's life? Group one, you're gonna have an opportunity to finally get some sleep. You have an opportunity to surrender anxiety and fears as it pertains to a financial situation. Um, yeah, a lot of you guys are waiting to hear back um, either about a job opportunity or you're just waiting for your business to pop off. You're waiting for more clients. Um, you don't need to stress out about it. It looks like, especially this week in particular, you may... Um, you may come across, I'm sorry, I'm just distracted by the focus, but you may come across um, an opportunity to either earn more money or to receive more money in some form or fashion. Um, some of you have an opportunity to communicate with somebody here this week. There's some type of truth that needs to be spoken with someone in your life. So I see, um, I see some of you guys are in a long distance situation. You're separated from your partner, either physically or emotionally. And you have an opportunity this week to talk about it. Talk about your fears. Talk about whatever you need to talk about. You have an opportunity to move forward. There's a lot of air here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. A lot of you guys have an opportunity to... Um, Hmm. Some of you guys are in a third party situation and you need to um, somebody here needs to come clean. There's an opportunity to be honest about your situation, and about what you're what you want. OK. Um, but for those of you who. Um, are in fact in some you know relationship or situation you have an opportunity to let down your guard open up to this person and and you know really just talk to this person but for the most part i just see you have an opportunity to get over get over yourself get over the fears doubts stress and worries that you have in your mind um about some type of financial situation um some of you guys are waiting to hear back from somebody you're waiting for somebody to reach out and contact you you actually have an opportunity to take the initiative, uh, group one, if you want. You have an opportunity to step into your queen, okay? Confidence. Passion. So yeah, a water sign showed up as well, you guys. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have two kings showing up. Air and water. And we have two queens showing up. Earth and fire. Interesting. You have all the elements in your reading. Um, all right. Let's take a look at some potential challenges for you guys. What are the potential challenges for my group one this week? Potential challenges here. Potential challenges for my group one. Hmm. All right. So it could be difficult for you guys to make a decision. Some of you guys need to decide. You need to choose. You need to choose and take an action. And this week you may find it challenging to do so, but it still needs to be done. So you're just being encouraged to listen to your intuition this week, and this will help you make the right decision for you. You also may find it a bit challenging to be disciplined or to discipline yourself. You know, this is about self-discipline, group one. How dedicated are you? How badly do you want this sun here? How, how badly do you want this abundance, whatever that is for you? This happiness, are you willing to do what it takes to get there? That's what your focus needs to be this week. You know, it's like because these are your challenges, you just need to um, counter that. You need to work extra hard. 
Um, let's take a look at what you need to focus on this week. What does my group one need to focus on this week? What does my group one need to focus on this week? All right. You guys need to focus on L-O-V-E. Self-love, group one. Focus on your feelings. Pay attention to your feelings this week. Um, I feel like your emotions are going to be really showing you some, some things here. And I just see this unfoldment happening for you guys. You see? Even with the water here, this overflow in this cup, it's like something is happening for you guys. Something really beautiful. And you're just being asked this week, focus on gratitude and appreciation. Focus on the people in your life whom you love. And focus on caring more about yourself. Being kinder to yourself. And communicating. Some of you guys need to make this decision for some of you it has to do with a relationship, any relationship. For some of you it has to do with a child. Beautiful. You guys, um, group one, things are changing in your life in a major way. And they're changing in a good way for you. So just open up and accept this change that's here in your life. Two threes. This is about teamwork. You guys need to focus on collaborations. You need to focus on working um with others letting down your guard letting people in um so that you guys can get something done here you also need to focus on being patient and just focus on progressing and steady movement forward you are moving forward group one you are blessed there's nothing to stress out and worry about just continue creating your magic here things are changing things are transforming this is the cycle that you're in at this time so I hope that makes sense. I love you guys. It looks like a really amazing week. I'm wishing you the best. You guys deserve the best. You know, get ready for this change and transformation. This will of fortune is going to bring you guys something so wonderful. And it's just going to make you so happy. So please just embrace this change. I love you. And I'll talk to you next week, you guys. If you do want a private reading, I offer Fiverr gigs for 10 bucks. And I also have other services on my website, www.girltalktarot.com. You guys can find all the information down below. I love you so much. Be blessed. And I'll talk to you next week. Ciao. What's going on, group two? Welcome to your reading. Let's go ahead and get into it and take a look into your week ahead. So you guys chose this image here with these distractions. Some of you are feeling as though someone you're dealing with is distracted and not paying enough attention to you. That may be very bothersome for you. Others of you, you may be spending too much time on your phone or whatever is distracting you from your partner or from whatever you need to be getting done here. There's a sense of procrastination. Um, you know, it could just be a lot going on in your environment right now and it's making it difficult for you to focus and to just get shit done. Okay. But let's see how this plays out here for you guys. What's the energy for my group too? Ooh. Oh, group two. Wow. Um, group two, you guys, first of all, you're working with amazing energy. I see that a lot of you are, um, taking some relationship here to the next level. A lot of you guys are journeying deeper into this person and you feel a soul tie and connection. There's a lot of love here. This doesn't have to be a romantic partner. This could be a best friend, a brother, a sister, a parent, um, or a spouse. You name it, but group two, there's somebody in your life who really, really cares about you. I mean, truly. And I just see you guys are, um, you're on a journey together. It feels like you're on this journey together. And you're listening to, to your heart, excuse me. You're following your intuition this week. And it just feels like you're going deep. <clears throat> there's the fear. We have some stuck energy coming through. The whale with breach. 
new love, past life relationship, heart to heart conversations, <laughs> and make the effort. Yeah, so, so you guys, it's a couple of messages coming through here right now. Some of you guys are feeling stuck in life in general, right? It's like, damn, it's so hard for me to move forward. Like, why do I keep finding myself in this position? Like, no matter what I do, I'm still here in the same position. And all you want is to move forward. Like, you're ready to go. You're ready for the next thing in life. Some of you are ready to, like, break a contract. Like, you've had enough. You're ready for something new. For some of you, this does have to do with the relationship. And for others of you, it has to do with a, a work situation. But there is something new on the horizon. So for those of you who are, in fact, single, I see that you're going to come into contact here, possibly this week, with someone from your past. Either a past lover or someone from a, an entire past life, okay? And there's just going to be some type of magnetic connection that you have with someone and you just fall in love like your heart is open and you really care about this person. Others of you, I see it's possible that you come into contact with some type of passion, something that you're really into. So this is something that you perhaps did in a past life or in your younger years um, and you you may decide that you want to you want to move forward with this passion of yours and you may decide to just, you know, cancel out whatever is no longer serving you. It's like I'm done here. I'm listening to my intuition and to what makes me happy. Of course, there's fear in that. It's always scary when you want to leave something behind and explore the new. The, the next chapter is always scary, but it's also very exciting. There's a lot, so many possibilities, you guys. And I'm also seeing here that in the week ahead, you have an opportunity to have a very serious conversation with someone. For some of you, this has to do with this is a boss of yours. You need to talk to your boss. If you've been feeling like, like, dude, you know, I deserve a promotion of some sort. Like I've been in the same position. I'm ready to move forward. And, you know. You can talk to your boss or manager about the situation. Yeah, it's scary, but you're being encouraged to make the effort group two. You have to put in the work. You have to you have to make the call. For some of you, yeah, you need to make the effort in this relationship. Talk about it. Forgiveness. Just be open and honest with each other, with each other. And I see no reason why you can't move forward. You know, eliminate the distractions. Let's go ahead and take a look into the opportunities that you guys have. Wow, you have the sun, cut of the deck. Go ahead, group two. You have an opportunity to be happy, to be happy, fulfilled, joyful. What are the opportunities here for my group two? What are the opportunities here for my group two? What are the opportunities here for my group two? All right. Yeah. You guys have an opportunity this week to actually, you know, reevaluate your current situation. Really take a look at it and resolve any issues. You have an, excuse me, you have an opportunity to um, forgive somebody or to accept someone's apology. I see you guys have an opportunity to make a decision. It's not an easy one. Wow. <laughs> yes, it's time. It's time for the next chapter, group two. Look at that. Some of you are dealing with the Scorpio, but I just see it's time. Like, it's time. Let the old go. Move forward. Take a chance on yourself, group two. This is the opportunity that you have out with the old and in with the new. This is a time of transformation. The wheel of fortune is here letting you know things are changing in your life. Some of you have a real, real fear of change, but you need to get over that. You need to embrace it. You need to accept it and let this change in so that you can move forward. You want to get out of this stuck position. You have to you have to do it. You have to be the one to make the effort group two. 
you have to be the one to decide what you want despite how scary it is you know despite the anxieties fears doubts worries all that crap that's in your head that's weighing you down you gotta let that go and you know just know that this change in your life right now it's bringing for you so much abundance the wheel is turning in your favor group two if you allow it to but honestly if you stay stuck here you're going to see the tower soon and that's divine intervention which is okay too but it's a lot less comfortable um if you take control right now and you decide that you want better you want more you want to be happy let it die and start anew start anew there's a new love here group two a new job a new career a new love a new love even for yourself but yeah you have to this is your opportunity it's a big opportunity actually really big you pulled three majors four major arcanas in your opportunity sector so don't let this um, opportunity pass you by this is all about deciding to let go of the old and start new get it together despite your fears and anxieties as simple as that so let's take a look here into your um challenges okay what are the challenges here my beautiful group too i'm excited for you guys honestly this is very exciting an exciting time for you what are the challenges here for my group two Mm -hmm. you got to do what you got to do group two some of you guys some of you guys whoa you're losing patience we have the seven of wands reversed um wow man these sevens have been following me all month it feels like it's like two sevens and then i'm always looking for the third it's totally will of fortune time anyway what i see is challenging for you guys you're finding it challenging to um to move forward okay you guys are investing your time and energy into something and you're wondering whether or not this is going to you know reap if you're going to ever reap the rewards like you've been you've been you have been working on this whether this is a partnership or a, a business a job or even your own personal stuff you guys but whatever you've been you know consciously putting your your work and your efforts into it's just like damn when am i going to reap the rewards like when so it's frustrating it's frustrating and you may even be feeling like giving up it's like how much longer do i have to wait how much more do i have to give and it just feels like it's all crashing down on you but you can't give up group two keep fighting stand your ground your position no matter what's coming at you and you and just move forward just go take action you have to take action high priestess was underneath these three cards here so again listen to your intuition she's showing up here in your reading for a reason there's something that your high priestess and high priest is trying to communicate with you at this time be still meditate listen for the answers within and you'll know what to do and how to do it truly um what do you guys need to focus on this week what do you need to focus on group two what do you need to focus on here yep surrender 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 let go 
let go. You need to focus on this time in your life. It's a really interesting position because you have an opportunity to see things from a completely different perspective. If you're open and willing. And that's what you're being encouraged to do. You know, it may feel like you're in limbo right now. Sometimes limbo is a good place to be because it gives you an opportunity to really catch a different vibe. See what you want out of life or out of, you know, a, a person or, or anything. I don't know. You know what I mean? What does... Wow. Okay, you're being encouraged to focus on... I mean, to focus on sharing your gifts. Ask yourself, what is it that you can provide? What can you bring to the world? Like, what do you have to offer that would benefit others? How can you be of service? Focus on what you can give as opposed to what you can receive at this time. Any other focal points here? Some of you need to focus on the relationship that you have with a sibling. Um, some of you guys haven't been in contact with someone really close to you, either a sibling, best friend, or a really close family member. You're being encouraged to, to focus on that relationship. Wow. You're also being encouraged to focus on your self-identity, group two. Who are you? Who do you feel you are? What do you feel you're worth? What is your value? Where do you belong? Who's going to value you the way that you know you deserve to be valued? Where is that? Who is that? What does it look like? These are the questions that you're being encouraged to, um, to ask yourself this week. And another nine, this is about yourself. What makes you happy, group two? Do something that makes you happy this week. Treat yourself. Spoil yourself. Whatever that is for you, pamper yourself some kind of way. Give to yourself as well. Hmm. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, did I pull for the challenges? Hmm. I don't think so. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> okay, what's challenging here for my group two? What are the challenges? Yeah. I release the need to know all the answers. You don't have to know it all, group two. So you're finding it challenging to move forward because you want to have all the answers. I understand you want to be, you know, two or three steps ahead, but you don't need to have all the answers before you make the first move. You guys are also doubting yourself. There's some insecurities that's coming through. So you want to get, get rid of that. Remember who you are. And of course, empathy. Being open to seeing both sides of a situation. This is what you're being encouraged to do this week. See a different side. Hear somebody else out. Have empathy for others. Care about others. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My memory is so bad. I do not remember if I did opportunities already. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. But just in case I did it, let me hit it real quick. Uh, what were the opportunities for my group two? Yeah, I did. Okay, so you have an opportunity for communication, group two. You have an opportunity to move forward. You have an opportunity to focus. You see, she's so focused, man. And a lot of you guys are not focused. You're distracted by either your children, your family, social media, a uh, significant other. I don't know. There's something that's distracting you from from getting out of this stuck energy that's the whole point so basically your opportunity is to take matters into your own hands and to just focus on a goal just like one goal make it simple and say i can do this i can reach this goal and i will reach this goal and then shoot your arrow go for it focus 
so that's what I see here for you guys. I hope that this reading resonates and makes sense here for you. Know that I love you and I'm rooting for you all the way. Absolutely. You guys deserve the best. Okay. Remember to make the effort. Put in the work. You're worth it. Um, maybe it's Maybelline. I don't know. So, yeah, that's it. I love you guys. Be blessed. If you want a private reading, you can go to my website, www.girltalktarot.com. Or you can check out a fiber gig. I'm currently offering fiber gigs starting at 10 bucks. So I love you mucho and I'll talk to you next week. Ciao. Hi, group three. Welcome to your reading. So you guys chose this business card here. That tells me that you are all about business right now. You are not here to play, group three. You are here to get your life, okay? You're here to make moves, making money moves, taking care of business. So, what's going on? What kind of week are you guys gonna have? Ooh. <laughs> what kind of week are you guys gonna have? You can't play it safe. No, 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 no. Interesting. All right. All right. So group three, you have a very interesting week ahead. There's something changing in your life right now. Like you guys are coming. Um, there's some type of transformation that you're undergoing. You're like shedding skin. You're like emerging group three. You're you're coming to life. I feel like you're coming to life. This is the process that you're in right now. Um, I do see that. A lot of you guys are missing somebody. There's some distance between you and somebody you really care about. Could be a family member, a friend, something like that. But I see that you're you're missing somebody. You're longing for something. Some of you guys are longing to communicate with somebody. Some of you are longing to travel or to just relocate or go somewhere new. Um, but there's some fear here that a lot of you guys have. There's something that you want to do or something that you want, but you're not really um taking a chance or a risk you're playing it safe because why it's familiar it's comfortable it's what you know and so there's just that fear of seeing what's on the other side of that fence but you're very curious group three you're very curious some of you are ready for some type of upgrade in your business in your career and um there's just a struggle here there's some type of conflict that's coming through um Honestly, this feels like an internal conflict that I see here. It feels like some insecurities that some of you guys are struggling with as it pertains to your yourself and even your your body, okay? Your the way you perceive yourself in the mirror, you know? You're you're not being nice to yourself, group 3. You're not telling yourself nice things about yourself. Okay. So, uh be careful with that. Don't do that. I also see here that um, some of you have recently met someone or you may meet someone soon. I see you getting to know somebody here as far as your romantic life is concerned. And um, I just see you bonding here with somebody. This is with someone who is either of a different religion than you, possibly a different ethnic background, or lives in a different um, country. This is someone foreign or something foreign. So that's what I see here. But let's go ahead and take a deeper look. Yeah, let's take a look and see. Okay, opportunities that are currently in your life. We're looking for some opportunities <clears throat> for the week ahead. Yeah, some of you guys are dealing with a long distance relationship um, and you're just really missing somebody. I see others of you guys, you're just waiting for something, waiting for somebody to call, waiting to hear back some news from someone. You're a little bit anxious and worried that's not going to happen, at least the way that you want it to. Um, I just see you guys really doing a lot of inner work. You have the hermit here, so there's a lot of time spent by yourself. Some of you may be feeling a little bit lonely at this time. Let's take a look here and see what the opportunities are for my group three. What are the opportunities for group three? Ooh. You got to get out of your head, group three. But you know what? Good for you. Like you have an opportunity to go after something you really want. You have an opportunity to explore foreign territory. You have an opportunity to, you know, break free. 
Um, okay. Some of you guys. Wow. Okay, let me just pull a couple more. And then we'll talk about it. What are the opportunities here for my group three? Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the tower, baby. So like I said, things are changing in your life. Group three, you have an opportunity, not even just this week, but at this time um, to, to move on, to move forward. I see you have an opportunity to um, progress. Um, I see a relationship here for some of you you're dealing with. An earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I also see air, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But I just see here that there's an opportunity to take steps, okay? Even if they're baby steps, there's an opportunity to continue investing your, your precious time and energy into either a person or some business idea that you have or, or a job, whatever it is that you're working really hard on. There's an opportunity to, um, yeah, stand your ground, all that stuff, but... You also have an opportunity to pay closer attention to the details, okay, group three. To take things slowly. Don't be so in a hurry. Enjoy the journey, I see. Some of you have an opportunity to make some type of final decision as it pertains to your house, your home, perhaps the selling or buying of a house or a home. Um... Uh, yeah, you have an opportunity to decide to, you know, seek your personal fulfillment. What is it that's missing? What's missing, group three, out of your life? Is it love, romance? Is it a friendship? Is it a business? Is it money? Just ask yourself, what do you feel is lacking or missing in your life? And you have an opportunity to, to go, get, go get it. If you feel like it's something you deserve and it's something you want, you have an opportunity to go get it. But you do have to, you know, let go of the, the BS that you're telling yourself. You have some conflict battle here with yourself group three and you have an opportunity to just erase you know just go into your mind and erase all the doubts fears and worries some of you also need to get more sleep you need to sleep you need to drink more water to relieve some of the headaches that you're experiencing and the stress and a lot of you guys need to just allow this tower to just happen you know it can be uncomfortable it's unfamiliar, but what's waiting on the other side is totally worth it. So that's what's coming through as an opportunity. Let's take a look at the challenges that you may have at this time. What are the potential challenges for my group three? Challenges, obstacles, opposition. Yeah. You're your, you're your biggest enemy, group three. Your worst critic. Stop doubting yourself. Persevere. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. A lot of you guys don't feel this way about yourself. You doubt yourself. You really don't think it's possible for you to actually get what you deserve. You perceive yourself as a failure. My beautiful group three, you're not a failure. You have purpose. You are purposeful. Just your existence is purpose enough. But if there's something that you want out there, you have to know that you're worthy of it. Don't doubt yourself. Do whatever you need to do to go get it, period. You're not a failure. You never have been and you never will be. It's important that you understand that about yourself. And if you perceive things that have happened in the past as a failure, don't. They were simply an opportunity to learn. And you just keep moving forward. That's all. 
Keep handling your business one day at a time, one step at a time. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Um, what do you need to focus on this week? Group three, what is it that you need to focus on this week? Focal points, please, for my group three. I'm looking for focal points here for my group three. Yeah. Next time you go to the mirror, I want you to look at yourself in your eyes. Like, just stare into your eyes. It's like, I feel like your soul is calling you back home. Like, remember who you are. Remember what you deserve, what you're capable of. Remember just how beautiful you really are. I mean, you're beautiful. In every way. You need to focus on nurturing yourself, nurturing your, your mind. Nurture your mind. Nurture your heart. And nurture your soul. What does that mean? You need to take better care of yourself. You need to get adequate sleep. Group three. You need to drink more water. Eat a healthier diet. Exercise. And say positive things to yourself every day. Even if you don't believe it. But really try to believe it. It, it has an additional benefit. Like when you actually believe <laughs> it changes everything it's a game changer so know know how beautiful you are know how worthy and desired and i mean deserving you are and desirable yes some of you feel like you're not desirable it's not true um some of you need to focus on creating something some type of creative project you need to focus on expressing your creativity. Focus on the abundance that's already uh, within. And the abundance that you can see externally as well. You know, show appreciation for the people and circumstances in your life. And yeah, again, just focus on speaking truth. Because what you're telling yourself right now is, is false. Focus on yourself. Focus on what makes you happy. Focus on what brings you the sense of peace and happiness. Hmm. I'm just being attracted to the key right now, you guys. Um, some of you feel like you're being blocked in your life right now, but just remember that you hold the key. You can change your circumstances at any point. Just like let go. Just let go. Also, let go of the need to control things. Okay. Okay, so that's what I have here for you guys. I hope that makes sense for you. Know that I love you and I'm wishing the best for you. Honestly, you have an amazing week ahead. Whenever you watch this, just handle business. Remember who you are. And have a kick-ass week, you guys. Period. I love you. If you would like a personal reading, you can go to my website, www.girltalktale.com. I also offer $10 readings on Fiverr. So if you want to check that out, you can do that as well. All the links will be in the description below. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Ciao. What's going on group four? Welcome to your reading. This is for everyone who chose the world. First of all, I just want to say congratulations group four. I feel like you guys are really taking off in your life right now. I feel like you literally have the, the world in the palm of your hands. It's like you are at a time in your life group four where you can choose your next direction. Where do you want to go? Who do you want to be? What do you want to do? What do you want to see? What move do you want to make next? Um, some of you guys are involved in some uh, long distance relationships. Um, even, yeah, of course, romantic. But I see even like with your family, some of you are separated here with family and friends. And there's a sense of longing that you feel. You may miss somebody here. Um, so I just see a lot of communi communication via the Internet, um, Skype, Zoom, all that stuff. That's good. Keep doing that for your relationship. Um, 
yeah exactly yeah see okay what kind of energy is my uh group four dealing with here wow wow group four you guys i'm so happy for you wow all right so let's talk about it Okay, I see a lot of you in this group are um, really creative people. Um, I see that this week you have an opportunity to really use your throat chakra, which rules your communication. So reaching out and talking to people, um, like I said earlier, who may, you know, even if they don't live in a different city, state or country, they live in a different um, neighborhood and you're still just not able to see them you know possibly because of COVID 19 that is giving us a lot of um restrictions at this time there are certain things that we're not you know allowed to do at this time because of that so you're just being encouraged here to to use your throat chakra in this meantime some of you guys feel stuck some of you guys feel stuck just in general in life um that's okay it happens but you guys have so much beauty around you you have so many blessings around you um you're surrounded by look at this rainbow um it just feels like a flow of love it feels like you're surrounded really closely with your angels i'm feeling like a lot of angel therapy right now for some reason um some of you may be working really closely with archangel Raphael. um and if so continue doing so uh he's really good at assisting the healing of the heart chakra in the heart space so i feel like that's a good look here for you guys i also see that there's an opportunity for healing and reconciliation so for those of you who have been you know lacking communication you know with a spouse or somebody here there's an opportunity to to get that back on the good foot you guys have rainbow blessings here for you this week so these blessings will appear in different ways for each of you. Just be on the lookout for them. It really feels like a good time for you, group four. Again, I'm just seeing this distance here. A lot of you guys, there's some distance between a partner or just somebody in your life. Could even be a goal, group four. It could feel like there's something that's so far away from you. And um, this week, you just have an opportunity to, to work on that, nurture it and bring it in towards you i feel like there's something that's coming towards you like you guys are attracting something in your life at this time you have the ocean showing up here and it just feels like harmonious it feels like it's coming in towards you there's something that you're manifesting i don't know what it is it'll be different for all of you but just go with the flow you guys you know for those of you who have a need to control go ahead and let that go Go with the flow this week. It seems like things are pretty darn peaceful. Things are pretty darn peaceful, you guys. I see some of you guys, even though, um, you know, this quarantine has us locked up or whatever. It's like you may be tapping into some type of creative artistry, something you used to do once before or something you've always wanted to do, whether it's music, writing, reading, photography, you name it, painting, whatever. Uh, yeah, do it. It's a good look. Express yourself creatively this week. Absolutely. Um, some of you guys are in a relationship and things are a little bit complicated. You're starting to see things about this person that you don't really like or care for. And yeah, they're red flags for a reason. And it's okay. We all, you know, demonstrate red flags at one point or another uh, while we're getting to know people or even in a serious relationship. So yeah, okay. Pay attention to these red flags. Um, some of you, it's safe for you to love this person and you're just simply being asked to open up. Embrace this person. Embrace their flaws. You have flaws too. And um, learn how to work with one another. Okay? Um, for some of you, if you're in a toxic situation and these red flags include like, you know, extreme toxicity, like abuse of some kind yeah by all means free yourself you know if you're feeling stuck or trapped in a situation that you have no business being in free yourself just just cut the cord cut the cord so that you can begin your own journey of healing and happiness because it's something that you deserve group four okay and if you're not feeling happy where you are 
and you're feeling like it's like a lost cause and you're feeling all this distance within your own relationship free yourself of course it's a lot easier said than done right i know i know and i'm sorry for those of you who feel like you've already invested a lot of your time and energy into somebody and it's still just not paying off the way you thought it would some of you guys are really hurting right now i'm sorry Um, let's take a look at the opportunities that you guys have. Group four, what are the opportunities that you guys have for the week ahead? What are the opportunities that you have just in life in general? Group four, what are the opportunities here in your life at this time? What are the opportunities here? <laughs> Some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo or any Earth. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Things are progressing, but very slowly. You have an opportunity to work on this relationship. Um, Some of you guys, there's an opportunity to... Wow. Aww. Group four. You have an opportunity to be very disciplined this week or whenever you, you know, what come across this message, like do things by the book. You have an opportunity to put things in order, whether that's around the house, your life, your mind, your heart space, wherever that is or whatever that is. You also have an opportunity to appreciate um man the abundance that's around you you guys i see a lot of you guys are surrounded by family children parents your spouse you have an opportunity to just simply appreciate that you have an opportunity to be completely happy emotionally fulfilled Uh, a lot of you guys are stressing out because of your financial circumstances. Okay. So basically, instead of focusing on, um, you know, what someone can do for you and, and bring into your world, you have an opportunity to... Be of service. You have an opportunity to give. You have an opportunity to do for others. I'm not saying you don't already do that. But you have an opportunity to place your focus here as opposed to here. You know, this energy of the five of pentacles is just feeling, man, down and out. Big burden. Financial strife. Some of you have an opportunity to pay a, a bill here that really needs to be paid. Some of you have been putting off this bill for a long time. And it does, like, I get it, like, it leaves a, a little bit of a hole in your pocket. At least that's how you feel, but it needs to be paid. I also see here that you guys have an opportunity to decide to, like, chase your dreams. Move forward with your career. And a lot of you guys are. It's just sometimes things happen really slowly. And your expectations are not met. But you have an opportunity to take matters into your own hands. Be disciplined. Keep going. Wear your crown. Have confidence. I also saw a fire sign showing up there. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at some... Potential challenges for the week ahead. Wow. Oh, group four. Some of you feel like you're not sure. Yeah, you're doubting what your purpose is, group four. Why am I here? Wow. Whew. We have change at the bottom. A lot of you guys in this group are afraid of change, but you actually, you want change. It's like you're craving this change 
it just feels like it's not happening it's not happening quickly enough um a lot of you guys are sad a lot of the sadness for some of you has to do with this relationship that i saw earlier doubting this relationship doubting whether or not it's even worth your time energy and effort and for others of you this just has to do with yourself um you guys you can come to me i can do a reading for you just for 10 bucks just to give you a quick reading with regards to your purpose if you're feeling lost or something like that trust me i understand what this feeling is like and um yeah i'd love to help you because i know it's a it's it's a painful feeling so this is what you know potential challenges you have this week some of you already know what your purpose is but you're doubting it still um what is it that you guys need to focus on passion get that flame back group four some of you need to get that flame back in this relationship i see cancer showing up here so i could be speaking to a cancer right now um others of you need to get that flame and that passion back i also see sagittarius that flame and that passion back for yourself virgo taurus capricorn okay what is it that my group four needs to focus on at this time Group four, what do you need to focus on? Ooh, baby. You got to put in the work. It's no time to slack off this week. You got to put in the work. If it's some, something you want, straight up, put in the work. What does that mean? Some of you need to put more time and effort into your studies. Some of you guys are studying in school. Um, pay more attention to your, your homework and the lessons and just do your best. Others of you need to just work on perfecting your craft. There's something that you're already working on. Just keep doing it. Keep diving in. Keep getting better and better. Wow, another eight. Ooh, group four. <sighs> wow. Wow. All right, you guys, this is specific. So some of you guys, yeah, this has to do with the relationship. You feel stuck, trapped, confined, restricted. Not all your needs are being met, all that stuff. Um, but if you focus on this relationship, if you focus on compassion, there is an opportunity for reconciliation, for healing, a sense of direction for both of you guys. I see that for a lot of you guys, this is someone you really love, you really care about. Yeah, certain things have been, you know, you've been questioning this person. Like, hmm, I don't really like that. So do you just write them off? Or is it something you can work on? And for the majority of you in this group, it is something you can work on. And it is safe for you to love this person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also saw Earth earlier and fire. But it could be anybody. You guys are showing up here very, very strongly. Also, I see there's an opportunity for reconciliation between a mother and her son or a father and his son or daughter. Also an opportunity for healing there. Okay. But it does require work. It's not going to be easy. You got to put the work in. You got to try. Make the effort. So that's what I see here for you guys. Honestly, it looks like a great week. Communication is key for you guys this week. Okay? Communication. Don't let this distance get further and further apart. If you want to bring this person closer to you or this goal, whatever it is that you want, communicate. Honestly. And acknowledge the blessings around you at this time. You're surrounded by them. And go with the flow. Okay? Those of you in a toxic relationship, I'm sorry. But, you know, if the red flags are a bit too much, then perhaps it is time to actually just go. Whether this is a job or a relationship. 
if it's a cycle that continues to perpetuate over and over and over again and you just can't take it anymore then yeah so that's what i see here for you guys i hope that makes sense for you I love you. Looks like a great week ahead whenever you watch this. Um, I do offer private readings, you guys. You can go to my website, www.girltalktarot.com. I also am currently offering Fiverr gigs, you guys, for 10 bucks. So if you want a private reading, you can book with me there and get, you know, super discounted rates. I think that's it. I love you guys. Be blessed. And yeah, I'll talk to you next week. Ciao.